I want to get your thoughts on the situation in Egypt. Your prime minister said yesterday that Turkey sides with the, the uh, people of Egypt. How long do you think President M Mubarak can hang on through the end of his term or not? And what do you think the uh, ramifications of the events there are for your region? Well, uh, as everybody does, we're following the uh, developments in, in, in Egypt very closely. And our uh, people there, 1,500 Turks, have been evacuated from Egypt. And I believe Egypt is of vital importance to the regional peace and stability. Egypt uh, is an important friend of Turkey, a uh, very close friend of Turkey. Uh, I think uh, we wish Egypt, uh, as early as possible, could meet the democratic demands of its people and I believe they will do it. Based on your uh, understanding of Egypt and the, the people there, uh, what do you think the risks are of um, extremism or uh, another uh, new regime that may lean toward uh, extremism or anti-Americanism? And how supportive do you think a new regime in Egypt would be for uh, the Israeli peace agreement? Well, let me tell you this. I think. Uh, our primary condition when we talk about the situation in Egypt was uh, no violence. I mean, we don't want the Egyptian people, when making those demands, to resort to violence. Uh, violence is, uh, should be excluded, should never be thought of. Uh, it would complicate the things rather than solving any other problem. Therefore, uh, we hope everything uh, would uh, just develop in democracy in that uh, important country. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. And what are the odds that it will happen that way, smoothly? Uh, well, today, uh, so far, I think uh, we didn't see any significant, uh, uh, important, uh, uh, you know, a, a widespread uh, uh, violence. Uh, this is good, and I believe uh, until today, and I believe it, it continues to be like that. Mm -hmm. And what about the relationship between Egypt and Israel? You're a uh, former ambassador to Israel. Mm -hmm. How do you see, uh, what changes do you see possible in a new regime in Egypt in terms of the relationship with Israel? Uh, this is a good question. Uh, I think uh, really the developments in Egypt are uh, uh, very much important also uh, f uh, for Israel. Uh, I wouldn't speak <laughs> on behalf of Israel, however, uh, as, as, a, as, a, as an ambassador who has served in that country, I know how important uh, Egyptian, uh, I think, efforts uh, in, in helping uh, in this peace process. So therefore, um, I believe uh, uh, in, the, in the coming future, especially uh, the, the uh, the end of this whole thing would be playing very uh, important on this peace process as well. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ambassador, let me ask you about Iran for a moment. Uh, Turkey has played a very active role um, in, for more than a year on the issue of trying to persuade Iran to give up uh, any pursuit of nuclear weapons. You, a year ago, were uh, in a in uh, disagreement with the United States on a UN resolution that would impose further sanctions on Iran. And uh, most recently you hosted in Istanbul um, a meeting of the Six Nations negotiating with Iran for a way um, to persuade Iran to give up nuclear um, uh, uranium enrichment. How do you see Turkey's role in the future considering that some of these efforts have not really come to fruition yet. How do you see Turkey's role on Iran in the future? Uh, yes, we will continue to do everything in our power to help uh, uh, this complication, uh, if I may say, uh, to uh, be resolved through peaceful uh, means, in, a, in a true di diplomacy rather than any other thing. and. Uh, so far, what we did was uh, to achieve those ends, and Istanbul meeting was due to our efforts. What we want in uh, regarding Iran is uh, 
Iran without any nuclear weapon at any time. Uh, we are adjacent to Iran. What happens in Iran immediately reflects itself over Turkey. Uh, we are not 10,000 kilometers away from Iran like the United States. We have coordinated all our efforts, everything we did uh, concerning Iran with our American friends. So uh, I think uh, what we wanted to do is to create a medium for our um, uh, Western allies to uh, continue to negotiate with them a meaningful settle settlement of the differences. Uh, and I think uh, this is appreciated by uh, our American friends. At the beginning, it was mis misperceived. Uh, however, now uh, they understood what we want is exactly the same thing. Uh, the Americans and our American allies want to do, to achieve. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. You're most welcome. Thank you.